NBA basketball totals for Saturday, December 31st. We're going to break down three games uh, that we have uh, the numbers for. You know, as we always do this video just a little bit early, and sometimes we don't get all the lines that we need because we want to make sure we get this to you in an efficient amount of time. But I like all the games uh, on the board today. So this is our segment where we check out the total set by oddsmakers. We try to get uh, make a right assessment whether to go over or under that total. We also have our NCAA college basketball segment out there as well that covers the same topic. Uh, don't forget to check out SBR. As always, we want to mention that sportsbook review where we have all the numbers, all the odds, sign-up bonuses of, at a lot of sports books, uh, the blacklist sports books to avoid. And before I uh, begin today, first of all, I want to say uh, Happy New Year's to you guys. And uh, second of all, I want to say on uh, for Sunday's game, it's going to be a little bit different. We're actually going to do this. I'm going to do a live uh, webcast prior to the games, uh, a couple hours prior to the games, uh, Sunday's games. Excuse me. Heavens, I can't talk. Uh, so be ready for that. So that's going to be really interesting. I've never done that before. So be sure to check that out. And uh, again, let's go ahead and uh, let's jump into some totals. Here we go. Once again, here we go. All right. First game we got up, Milwaukee and Chicago. Last time they matched up, Chicago scored 69 points at home against them. <laughs> it's absolutely terrible. Looks like Delva Dova's out. It's at 201 set by odds makers, and I'm going to go over. Now, in that last matchup, I mean, Chicago was as bad as they possibly could be. Milwaukee wasn't that great either. They only scored, I mean, they scored 95 points. They shot 46% for the field, but Chicago, with that 69 points, they shot 30% for the floor and 23.8% from distance. Just terrible. And they got up 92 attempts. That's the part I like, why I think they're going to get over this total, because Chicago could still push a little bit of tempo. They have really, really struggled this year. Let's talk about some more statistics on this. So we got right now, I'm on, that's my college segment. Let's go down to my uh, NBA here. We got Milwaukee averaging 105 points per game. That ranks right in the middle of the league with Chicago averaging 100.7. That ranks 23rd. Defensively, Milwaukee's been solid. Chicago has actually been good too. They're, they're allowing just 99.8 points per game. Milwaukee's allowing 102.4. Percentage-wise, though, Milwaukee's been really good, allowing opponents just 43.5% overall. That's really solid. Chicago, not bad either. 45% overall. It ranks right in the middle of the league, but they're third in opponent shooting efficiency. So all that being said right there, you know, you would think this game's going to be under, but I don't think it's going to because you got a Milwaukee team that shoots about 47% from the floor and a Chicago team, although their, you know, efficiency ratings are not that great, they're still getting up 87 attempts per game and they're at home. And I think they're going to play a good ball game tonight. Uh, Percentage-wise, they're not that great offensively, but I like their tempo. Uh, they move the ball, you know, decently well, and I think they're going to be able to score tonight, and Milwaukee's going to go ahead and get up and down. That's what I'm looking for. Milwaukee could flat out, I mean, they could score 51.6% on their two-point shots, and they like to go up tempo uh, as well. They'll, you know, they get up about 85 attempts per game. That's not bad, and uh, they allow about the same. So, you know, that 201. It looks actually too high considering their last matchup, but I like for this to get over. I think they're going to get uh, have a really good uh, you know track meet going up and down. I think they're going to get over this total. All right, next one up, New York and Houston. These guys met up a long time ago. One of the first games of the year. Houston won 118-99. to Las Vegas set a big total for this game, as they should with Houston. It's at 221.5, and, and I'm going over. Both teams are coming off a, a back-to-back, second leg of a back-to-back, and I don't think there's going to be a lot of defense. New York's been so bad defensively. Houston, unless they're super tired, are, are going to score 120 points. New York could score, though. That's a pretty good uh, offense they have going on, despite all the naysayers about the triangle. I mean, right now we got uh, – sorry about that. I had the wrong one up. We got New York. Right now they're averaging 105.4 points per game. Houston's second in the league behind Golden State averaging 113. They can just flat out light it up. But New York's allowing 107.7 points per game. Houston, it, they should put up 120. What I like about this game, though, I don't even talk about Houston's efficiency ratings or, or their tempo or anything. They're fast and they can score. We've seen that all year. Defensively, they'll allow it as well. You know, they played a little bit better. For Mike D'Antoni, they've actually played a little bit of defense. But not enough, I think, to hold down New York to, you know, anywhere under 100 points. So look for New York to score about 107, 110, and for uh, Houston to score close to 120. I think they're going to get pretty close to that 230 margin, gets us a 230 mark that gets us over that 221 and a half. Houston's allowing 106.4 points per game. But percentage-wise, they're allowing opponents, well, they rank 20th and 19th in the league, respectively, in opponent shooting efficiency and effective field goal percentage. And they're allowing a ton of tempo. 
New York is not that bad. They can shoot the three. I mean, they're shooting 36% from beyond the arc. That ranks in the top 10, and they go up and down really fast, averaging over 89 attempts per game. They rank first in the league in tempo as far as shots per game. Houston's going to love that. So, you know, we got two teams that are pretty fast. I can see why Osminger set this total 221.5 with both of them coming off uh, the second, coming off a of back-to-back from yesterday, playing a game yesterday. I don't think the defenses are going to be there. Neither of these teams really play great defense. Look for this to go ahead and get over the total. Okay, last one up we got is Phoenix and Utah. And I'm going under on this one. Right now, odds makers have it at 206. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go under this total. Right now, last time they matched up, they ended up uh, 112-105, Utah won. But they shot pretty well. Utah shot 49% and 44% from distance. I don't think they're going to do that again. They're going to be able to score, though, against Phoenix. They're going to beat them by – I think they're going to cover the spread in this. Phoenix shot 46% and 33% from from distance. But the tempo wasn't that fast. Phoenix got up just 84 attempts. Utah just 73. So I look for something similar to that but less on the shooting percentage end. Um, Talking about those shooting percentages, by the way, you got a Utah team – they're amazing. I mean, they're the best defense in the league. Percentage-wise and scoring defense, they're number one in the league. Phoenix is terrible. However, you know, they do allow just 86 attempts per game. That's actually slow for them, for a Phoenix team. So at the end of the day, when we look at the numbers here, Phoenix is averaging 106.8 points per game, but they're going to get the number one defense in the league. I don't think they're going to get there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to back under that 206, which I think is just a bit too much for this matchup. Those are our three NBA picks today. Uh, again, Happy New Year, and I wish you luck on your picks today. Go to SBRodds.com. Browse, compare, and shop live odds available at top online sportsbooks. 